The ensuing chase was fraught with peril. Ishmael, equipped with an Eternium bike, managed to elude capture, taking Amon hostage. Taith Adam's attempts to rescue the boy were thwarted at every turn, as the inner gang's relentless pursuit hindered his efforts. Back at Adriana's home, Hawkman and the JSA captured two intergang soldiers, extracting vital information about their hideout. In a moment of unity, Taith Adam and Hawkman set aside their differences to rescue Amon. The two heroes, despite their contrasting methods, recognized the necessity of collaboration. As they prepared for the final confrontation, Dr. Fate confided in Hawkman, revealing a premonition of his impending death. The weight of this knowledge loomed over Hawkman, adding a sense of urgency to their mission. With the location of the inner gang's hideout now known, Taith Adam and the JSA embarked on a daring rescue mission. Their goal was clear. To save Amon and prevent the crown of Sabak from falling into the wrong hands. The stakes were higher than ever, and the outcome of their efforts would determine the future of Kondak. The rescue mission to save Amon and recover the crown of Sabak took Taith Adam and the JSA deep into the heart of the inner gang's stronghold. The air was thick with tension as they approached the enemy hideout, each step laden with the weight of impending conflict. The group moved with a sense of urgency, driven by the knowledge that Ishmael's ambitions threatened the very soul of Kondak. Inside the hideout, Ishmael stood over Amon, the crown of Sabak gleaming ominously in his grasp. He revealed his lineage as the last descendant of King Onkot, claiming that the crown was his birthright. Ishmael's eyes burned with a fanatical zeal as he demanded the crown, seeking to reclaim the throne and impose his will upon Kondak. Adriana, torn between her duty to protect her son and the knowledge of the crown's dark power, reluctantly handed it over to save Amon's life. Ishmael's betrayal was swift and merciless. He shot Amon and donned the crown, invoking its ancient power. As the mystical energies enveloped him, Ishmael was consumed by the dark force within the crown, transforming into Sabak, a monstrous embodiment of chaos and destruction. Taith Adam, Adriana, and the JSA could only watch in horror as the hideout erupted in a cataclysm of dark magic. Taith Adam, driven by a desperate need to save Amon, unleashed his full power. The resulting explosion of energy was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. In the ensuing chaos, the JSA shielded Adriana and Amon from the devastating force, but Sabak's transformation was complete. The ancient evil had been reborn, and its wrath was unleashed upon the world. Racked with guilt and grief, Taith Adam fled to the ruins of Onkot's palace. There, he confronted the ghosts of his past. In a moment of vulnerability, he revealed to Hawkman the true story of his fall from grace. It was not Taith Adam but his son, Hurit, who had been the true champion of Kondak. Hurit's sacrifice to save his father had left Taith Adam with an unrelenting burden of guilt. The wizards of Shazam, deeming him unworthy, had imprisoned him for millennia. The weight of this revelation hung heavily in the air, but there was little time for reflection. The resurrection of Sabak posed an immediate and existential threat to Kondak. Recognizing his own limitations and the need for redemption, Taith Adam surrendered to the JSA. They escorted him to Amanda Waller's underwater prison a place designed to contain beings of extraordinary power. However, the danger was far from over. Dr. Fate's ominous premonition lingered in the minds of the JSA. Sabak's dark power began to corrupt the very fabric of reality, summoning the undead to wreak havoc upon Kondak. Adriana, Amon, and Karim rallied the citizens, urging them to stand and fight for their freedom. United against a common enemy, the people of Kondak found strength in their collective resistance. The JSA, determined to stop Sabak, prepared for the ultimate showdown in the ruins of Onkot's palace. Dr. Fate, foreseeing the potential for Hawkman's death, took drastic measures to protect his friend. He conjured a magical force field, barring Hawkman, Cyclone, and Atom Smasher from the battlefield. Fate's sacrifice was both noble and tragic, as he faced Sabak alone, wielding his arcane powers with unmatched skill. Even as Dr. Fate fought valiantly, he knew that his true purpose was to release Taith Adam from his suspended animation. Through an astral projection, fate reached out to the imprisoned champion, urging him to rise once more. Taith Adam, driven by a renewed sense of purpose, broke free from his confines and raced to join the battle. Despite Dr. Fate's efforts, Sabak proved to be a formidable foe. The JSA, now free to engage, fought with all their might but struggled against the overwhelming power of the Dark Entity. Just as Sabak was about to deliver a fatal blow, Taith Adam arrived, his presence a beacon of hope. The battle reached a fever pitch as the two titans clashed, 
their powers shaking the very foundations of the ancient ruins. Hawkman, inspired by Dr. Fate's sacrifice, used the fallen hero's helmet to create magical duplicates and cast powerful spells. The combined efforts of the JSA and Taith Adam finally overcame Sabak. With a final, decisive strike, Taith Adam destroyed the dark entity, banishing the undead and restoring peace to Kondak. In the aftermath, Taith Adam, now a symbol of hope and redemption, embraced his role as the protector of Kondak. The JSA departed, acknowledging the ancient champion's commitment to his people. As Adriana and Amon looked to the future, they saw a brighter path for their homeland, one forged through unity and the enduring spirit of resistance.